Hey guys and welcome back to Devotional Beauty. I am back with a old but new situation. Um, I just posted last week a wig review and I felt like this week since I just took my hair out from the braids that I've been wearing since the beginning of this year. I wanted to do a quick wig review for you guys. This is one that I've had in the collection for a while and I've just never worn. I've seen pictures of her but I'm not 100% sure that I like the style so I figured I'd come on and try it with you guys and we could see what we think So this one is from Outre. It's from the big beautiful hair series. This is the 4C coily um, Big beautiful hair situation. It's a half wig. You guys know I love my half wigs I have her in a color 1B30 so it's mostly 1B with some uh, color 30 streaks in here sort of woven throughout the entire wig i'm going to insert a picture of the stock card so you guys can see it really well and i'll insert that right here and then i'll show you this wig so let me hold her up to the light you can see clearly the color 30 that's this coppery orange color that's in here alongside the 1b so you get a lot of coils that are mostly 1b and kind of pretty dark and then you got these ones that are a little more color streaky i guess it looks fairly natural to me. Um, I don't know anybody who has 4C type hair that whose curls look like these little corkscrew straws. This is like really kind of too perfect in my opinion. So it's also a, a good example of like a wig that it comes straight out of the pack. Um, looks often very different I think than what you probably want to wear it as. So a lot of times I buy a wig and it'll come out of the pack looking something like this kind of janky and I'm not into it but um, let's see if we can get her to something that we might like um, before we do that let's talk about the cap construction so just like all the other half wigs that I've ever brought you described we have a large kind of comb here in the front we have a shorter comb in the back there with the tag to show you the back and this one also has adjustable straps the hair is sewn onto tracks uh, on a sort of a elastic uh, stretchy cap construction here there's no parting on this because it's a half wig I'm already wearing my wig grip uh, my hair is not braided down so I'm lazy y'all already know um, let's put this on and see what she looks like here we go all right so my head as you guys know is medium to large and this wig here kind of is real Rick James to me. Y'all get Rick James vibes from this? I'll show you. Rick James. Yeah, side by side. Rick James. Um, this is awful, in my opinion. I don't like it um, at all with these super, like, well-defined curls. Um, let's see if we can mess around with this and get it to something that looks... A little more realistic I'll bring you guys in while I mess around with this wig okay let's try I have my trusty pick and a wig brush which I'm not sure I'm gonna need for these tight curls but All right, feels a little more realistic. What do you guys think? Like this looks like 
a little bit more like kind of like a wash and go which I think is kind of cute um I like that it's getting bigger and a little crazy I think that's like really kind of natural looking okay so I always wanted to have my hair cut in this shape that's kind of like almost like a heart shape thing where it's like you know I kind of dig in this it looks really wash and go -y. Ooh, that curl keeps sticking up I guess it doesn't want to go anywhere all right whatever I know a lot of people have reviewed this wig, but I really do think that it ends up looking different on everybody, um, which I think is kind of the fun part of wearing wigs. So like, yeah, that's kind of cool. I don't know. I, I think this looks like a real wash and go situation. Um, if you don't like your wash and goes or if your wash and go, if it's like winter and you don't want to do your hair and you just want to like braid it up but still get that natural look because I noticed that like people now are kind of like we're really getting into the natural hair look too not just like the aesthetic not just like treating your hair well which I think is something we should always be into no matter what you're wearing on top of your hair like your hair under the wig needs to be really healthy but outside of that I think we're people are now also getting into the aesthetic of the natural look too which I think is really cool and so if you are you know taking care of your hair you're keeping it braided up in a protective style during the winter time um, and you want to have that that natural look or you like want to transition seamlessly into you know your natural curls I think this is a cool alternative and I just like made myself a little tiny bang here which I'm now loving oh this is super cute yeah okay so I also think like another reason to wear wigs is especially like more natural colors like if you're thinking about coloring your hair and you don't want to make that kind of like commitment of actually babying your own natural hair sorry I keep looking at it while I'm fixing it if you want to test and see what colors will look like on you and you want to avoid having to baby your natural hair to be able to make that sort of color transition, I also really think that wigs like this give you a, a good sort of view of what it might be like to have that color. So like I know that this wig comes in a lot of more natural colors but they also have like some of those brighter reds and stuff. So if you were like interested in seeing like what you might look like with like a manic panic like super red something you know manic panic hair dye um and you wanted to go like vampy red or something like that you could get a really good sense of what that might look like before you dye your own hair because dyeing your hair i don't you guys know like you dyed your natural hair before like dyeing your hair is a really it can be a really traumatic experience for your hair especially if you bleach it before you dye it and i think most of the time if you wanted to get like colors like permanent light colors to show up you have to bleach your hair first and then like put the dye on top deposit the color on top um so if you're gonna go blonde or even add streaks like this it does involve some amount of developer and peroxide lightening so that can really cause chemical damage to your natural hair um which means that once the cuticle opens up and you like talking about taking colors and, and stripping colors and then adding color deposits on top of stuff that you stripped out your hair is going to be dry and fragile so whenever you're coloring your hair you just have to keep in mind that colored hair needs to be babied and you're going to have to moisturize more frequently because it can get dry and you have to worry about protein for strength you don't want to put too much protein into it because then your hair becomes brittle and it breaks off so I've been down that road. I know exactly where it ends to quote the matrix. Um, I've had blonde hair before and while I love the way that it looked on my natural hair, it fried it and broke it off and it, I had to grow it out. So um, I'm trying personally to avoid hair dye, which is why whenever I want to change my hair, I go the wig route and you know, I end up getting a style that I really like and a color that I love and this to me like i said gives me definite wash and go vibes and quite frankly as i get close and look at this this looks like my natural hair when it's wet um maybe <laughs> let me let me be real um the curls are a little real nice uh, much nicer than my own 
personal wash and goes but I mean besides being a smaller diameter than this like my natural curls do kind of straw curl up like this but not this like diameter like I feel like that curl like come on stop it it's just no it's not no this isn't a 4c come on get out of here I mean maybe if I combed it out fully into a fro which probably yeah but I don't think that yeah I don't know straw set maybe okay I could go for it. Straw set, that, that's realistic to me. But this, like, ain't no, I don't know. This ain't nobody's 4C hair. Like, stop it. Just stop it. Okay, Audre. I feel you, but I don't feel you. But I do think this is, like, a super cute looking, like, fluffy straw set on maybe 4A or 4B hair. Or, I mean, I guess if you did a straw set, you could do it on any hair that is um, more coarse and will hold, you know, a curl really well. So, um, in that sense, okay, maybe, but this doesn't look to me like straight up natural 4C hair, or even 4B hair, like maybe 4A if it was a straw set, because these curls are real, like the diameter is real large on it. Um, so I got this wig off wig types where I get most of my wigs, and um, the price for this wig is $14.94 for the base colors, so it's like 1, 1B, one 2, 4 um as you get into the fashion colors and stuff like that actually it's the same price for fashion color so if you wanted the dark root with the 27 and 30 mix so that's like a honey blonde and this color like brassy not brassy but like copper color you could get that mix and with a dark root and that would cost you the same 14.94 as this one costs um so this wig is under 15 bucks um on wig types which again is my one-stop shop for really cheap I want to say cheap afford really affordable <laughs> really affordable wigs you know so is this worth it yeah i would say i would pay 15 dollars for this um because it's so short i'm going to show you this shall i and then the back um but because this wig is really um shorter it's not going to rub on your hair or on your shoulders and your clothes and stuff as much so you will be able to keep it a little bit longer um which is good if you are not trying to spend a lot of money you know very quickly and again this is the year of contentment and like being satisfied with the things you have and not like running right out to buy every little thing just because it's a new thing um i'm really going back and searching through some of my old stuff that i've already got um that i either haven't worn a lot or at all <laughs> guilty um a lot of stuff that I haven't worn or haven't worn a lot um, is finding its way into my rotation so I can stretch the amount of time that I can go between um, styles that for me are more expensive. I also wear, you guys know I wear human hair wigs too. I don't know if you know that, but I'm telling you now. I also wear human hair wigs um, and those can be really pricey if you want them to look nice. Um, you can see some of the looks that I've done with human hair uh, on my Instagram. So if you're not checking me out on Instagram, check me out on Instagram. But um, yeah, so like between buying, you know, major purchases of human hair, I love to wear these um, inexpensive, you know, natural looking wigs. And I feel like, you know, keep them guessing. And you don't always have to spend a fortune. Like, I feel like nowadays we're getting into this aesthetic where people feel like you got to spend money for inches and you got to spend money for this straight long hair that touches your butt. I'm kind of worried. Does it get into the toilet when you sit down? I mean... Like, level with me here. What do you do with it? Do you, like, swing it around and, like, put it in a bun every time you gotta go to the bathroom? What if you're out and you gotta go to the, the ladies' room? Do you, what do you do with that, all that hair? Braid it up? I don't know. Put it in your purse? I'm not sure. But it's, it's a lot. Um, and then you're, like, plastering stuff to your forehead. And I told y'all I'm not gluing another thing to my forehead in 2020. I'm not doing it, which is why I just made me a little bang out of my half wig. And we're gonna go from that. Um, so the way that I would secure this, if I weren't just sitting in my living room and I was heading out, I would make sure that I insert my bobby pins underneath here and pin these down so that when the wind blows, you don't see much. But again, I love these natural color uh, hair wigs, <laughs> these natural colored wigs because they kind of go along with my own hair color. If the wind blows, I'm not going to be embarrassed. I love it. And I haven't glued anything to my forehead. My baby hairs remain 
intact because I want to be healthy and I want to be as lazy as I can and satisfied with what I have in 2020. I told y'all I'm really serious about it. But again, 15 bucks. So if you if it's in your budget, you have it to spend. I think this is a great investment. This will last you a while. And it's one of those wigs that the older it gets, the more natural it gets. As it gets really tangled and frizzy, you can just easily stretch and clip those little fuzzy parts or those tangled parts off. I know hair like this, I usually wear it when I'm wearing like my um I use this texture hair when I'm buying like Brazilian braid hair or Brazilian curl bulk hair for crocheting. I've worn this really long style um, in crochet hair and again like that hair wears super well. You can swim in it. I've seen people do vacations in it. I've done vacations in it. Swimming, showers, doing your thing. Um, just like if it's a wig take it off at night if it's not a wig then take it in two strand take giant sections and two strand twist them not super tight and put that under your bonnet and you are good to go it'll last you for several several weeks so again I would give this wig for 15 bucks I think it's five stars I would definitely purchase don't be fooled by the hype I don't think that this is 4c by any stretch of the imagination but it is a really cute and natural looking style. I expect to get many many compliments when I go out on this hair. The cut is cute. It came like this. I haven't trimmed anything. I haven't really done much of it at all except run my fingers through it and uh, you know I use my trusty pick but just to fluff it out. Um, so I'll probably be fluffing out a little bit of the back just to make sure that it's just as like voluminous as the front and stuff. But yeah I think this is cute. It's worth the 15 bucks. Um, so quick and dirty coming through. Thanks you guys so much for watching and I will catch you in the next video. Um, don't forget to comment, subscribe. See you next time. Bye.